Hi, my name is Mike Zuckerman, Cuplix Chief Marketing Officer, and I'm going to overview the industry consensus on the five best practices in data integration. Cuplix is a data integration and data management company. We serve global markets through our end user sales force, our reseller of our organization, and our OEMs. You can learn a lot more about us on our website at www.cuplix.com. The explosion in information technology tools and capability has accelerated. You know, the information technology environment that we're all working with is moving at absolute light speed. Yet, the back of data integration seems broken. 90% of the customers are using 20-year-old ETL technology designed to move batch files into the data warehouse at 1 a.m. It's pretty much a manual process. Worst of all is that some vendors even put this 20-year-old technology in their newly minted one-year-old cloud. Who wants 20-year-old technology in a one-year-old cloud? To add insult to injury, things like data quality are just another product in another division or something standalone. I humbly submit that without resolving data quality issues and providing for their ongoing maintenance, you cannot integrate even two applications, load your warehouse, or consider a future deployment of virtual MDM or MDM. The cause of this is simple. Look at the revenue mix for the two major vendors that control the market for large enterprise integration. Their business is about professional services, not software tools. That's why on this chart, 90% of the customers out there are being made delivery with first generation 20 year old technology. This is a professional services business, not a software tools business. They are in business to sell you, their customer, as much professional services at the highest rate you can imagine. Legacy ETL technology is a bonanza to a company that sells your company services by the hour. Even worse, they don't offer you the right mix of services and technology. The integration was done to specification but it doesn't seem to work. I guess we'll just have to sell you additional consulting to do the data quality cleanup. These are situations we walk into all the time. The five best practices in data integration break the model. We turn the model upside down by using advanced data virtualization, by using our application software blades, you can push back at the legacy monopoly attached to your wallet and you can reduce your costs and speed your time to implementation. Best practice number one, use an automated metadata discovery tool and data dictionary. IEEE did a seminal study recently in the area of data integration to understand how the time was allocated. Over 40% of the time in any data integration project is usually spent on discovery. What is the structure of the data? Which field corresponds to others so that we can identify the source record of truth and harmonize it over to the target records? Advanced data virtualization completely automates the discovery of data structures, provides insight into how things relate, that's semantics, and then automates the integration between the systems. All of this is automated, fast, and easy to deploy. You'll be able to reduce your time in this project phase alone by approximately 75% or more because you use a metadata discovery tool and you manage your metadata through a data dictionary. Best practice number two, data quality must be integrated at every step in your project. Data quality is an essential project component for a small, medium, or large company, not a separate project. Advanced data virtualization technology provides full data quality tool sets, fully automated with the product. It is the starting point to any data integration, the core to best practices implementation, and the ongoing steady hand that keeps your data harmonization working into the future. Without good data quality, each data harmonization, and it doesn't matter what vendor you use, will reject hundreds to thousands of records that don't synchronize. And these things pile up, and the problem gets bigger, and it creates additional work for you. Here you can see a screen where at least eight or nine functions are built into this screen alone, things that you would buy standard tools for, spend tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it's all unnecessary. It comes with the integration environment. Best practice number three, understand your needs versus vendor architecture. Select a growth architecture. Tomorrow Never Comes is absolutely not the right way to deploy critical applications that serve your business. Advanced data virtualization brings a hub and spoke architecture that easily extends and adds the next application to your integration. This is in sharp contrast to pipe 
or pipe and hub for MDM architectures you must assemble with ETL. None of those things really snap together. They're manual, they're slow, they're process driven, and they just don't take you where you need to go in the future. Best practice number four, bring in tools suitable for a business user. No programming required. Advanced data virtualization and our uh, application software blades enable business users to point, click, and select to build out integrations. You can put all the GUI and front end on ETL-like tools you want, but you have to think and act like a programmer to make it work. Most of those tools don't solve the problems for you. If you need to integrate Oracle eBusiness Suite, you're going to have to understand their stored procedures to use these tools and lots of other complexities, or you're not going to build a real-time system, you're going to build a batch system. Using our technology, there's no programming required. We're taking care, for example, in Oracle eBusiness Suite of talking and managing directly all of the stored procedures, and we make it automatic and easy and fast for you to deploy. No one else can do things this way. This works the same with relational data, objects, complex APIs, with products like SAP, I mentioned Oracle eBusiness Suite, XML, and even no SQL data sources. One simple object framework designed to work with everything, fast and automated, you check boxes, you configure, and you go. Um, the formula builder that you use maybe to make some format translations is very, very simple. It's just like using Microsoft Excel. It's intuitive and obvious. That's the kind of tool that you need uh, for your users, and that's the kind of tool that you should be using to build out your integration projects. Best practice number five is, is really simple. Data cleansing, part of that process is data enrichment, right? It's wh where is the best source of zip codes? Where are the best sources for these things, right? Um, data enrichment is easy, and you can automate it for business benefit. Today, products like DB360, sources like Hoover's or Axiom, these sources are available to varying degrees, and some of them can be automated and tied into the harmonization process. They are clean sources of data for many elements of your important customer data, and we have all the tools to automate and bring this into play. Yet, most of our customers today are still manually correcting data, usually at the time of data entry in the ERP system, by looking at these systems online or looking at printouts and checking things that way. And then they hope that the support and Salesforce automation systems will catch up. Uh, there's a much better way. You can harmonize data directly with the source of data enrichment using business rules, improve business process, and bring strong ROI to your organization. Uh, please contact us for more information at sales at cuplix.com. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you. Uh, trademarks that you've seen uh, for vendors other than Cuplix remain their property, and uh, we'd be delighted to work with you on your project. Just give us a call. Have a great day. Thank you.